Hey, what's going on everyone? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another sneak video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over a build that's all about spamming supers. This build is just so you can get your super as fast as possible. So you can be the first person to always get their super. And just spam them and just go around the map, throwing shields, killing things with supers. That's what this is all about. And while this build is pretty simple, it's super effective and it's super fun. So, let's get into it. What are we gonna need for this thing? So the very first thing that we're gonna need is a Titan because we're running Bottom Tree Sentinel. Why Bottom Tree Sentinel? Because of this one perk that we have right here, Shield Bash. Shield Bash is just gonna make it easier to get kills in Crucible with our melee. We use Red at someone, click our melee, and if we're close enough, we're gonna be able to one-shot them. It also makes it really nice for PvE because you do get a bit more uh, super energy when you melee something with this subclass in PvE. So you actually get a huge chunk of super energy. So shield badge just can't seem like the perfect melee for this build. Now we need a way to get our melee back faster. And the easiest way that I think they're going to do this is going to be with the Monte Carlo. Thanks to the exotic perk on this weapon, the Monte Carlo method. Dealing damage with the weapon reduces your melee cooldown. And when you get a kill, it has a chance to fully regen the melee. Before, it actually used to guarantee to give you your melee back in the Crucible, but they changed that because they thought it was a little bit too strong, so now it's just a bit of a chance, just like in PvE. And most of the time, you're not really going to get the melee back. It happens really rarely. But we're mostly used to it to damage people and get our melee back faster that way. And you actually get it pretty fast. You definitely notice uh, the melee energy is coming back as you're damaging something. Especially when you damage a big enemy, when you can just hit them a lot, you definitely see it right there. So this is what's going to allow us to get our melee back faster, so we can spam the shoulder charges, and so we can eventually spam those supers. And that's pretty much it. These are the two things that we want to run, the two things that make the build work. There is another thing you can add to the build to get even more super energy for getting kills, which is adding a hands-on mod to your mark, or if you're really feeling spicy, two hands-on mods to your mark, to really just get the most out of your shoulder charges and just get the most super energy every time you shoulder charge something. You're gonna be getting your super before anybody even gets close to them every time as long as you're getting some shoulder charge kills whether it's in Crucible or PvE or Gambit whatever it is you're always gonna be the first person with the super no matter what it is. So now when it comes to playing with the build there's not really many tips that I can give you besides Try to get the shoulder charge kill as quickly as you can once your melee is back up. Once you get your melee back, try to look for opportunities to get that shoulder charge kill. And that's pretty much it. The shoulder charge has uh, has an interesting range in Crucible for sure. Remember that when you're going into a shoulder charge, you can actually slide a little and then still be able to do the shoulder charge. And that it stains your range a little bit. And also, that when you're shoulder charging, try not to jump in the air. Because when you jump in the air with a shoulder charge, it gets a little bit, a little bit funky. <laughs> like the tracking just doesn't really work that well in air. It works great while you're on the ground. But in air, it's, it can lead to a lot of situations when you shoulder charge. You just pass somebody, or you shoulder charge right over their head, and you just don't kill them, and then you just get shotgun. So, try to stick to the ground with your shoulder charges inner shoulder charges are not the most consistent things. Oh, and one more thing that I didn't really mention that's kind of like the other benefit that you get from the Doom Fangs is that throwing your shields and getting kills or getting just damage with your shield throws extends your super. And that makes it just ridiculous for game modes like Gambit or you stay in your super for a pretty long time in PvE. In Crucible, uh, we know, we know how... Uh, sticky those shields and those shield bounces can be like they just give you some ridiculous kills and now they even extend your super so yeah i always been a big fan of the doom fangs and right now they're just ridiculous especially pairing them with the monte carlo since it's a 600 out rifle and we know what the 600 out rifles are all about right now they're all about just destroying everybody and yeah this is the perfect time to actually use this build so if you guys have never used this Definitely give it a try. But I think that with that we're gonna end today's video. Hopefully all of you guys have enjoyed it. 
Leave a like you did, dislike you and subscribe to the channel in case you guys aren't already. Hopefully all of you guys have enjoyed the video. I think I said that used twice now. Hmm. Hmm. But anyways, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye.